videos if you are new here my name is Shanice I love for you guys to join the family join the gang hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you know every time I upload a video this was actually supposed to be a weekly vlog but I'm kind of starting off the vlog a little bit late it's Wednesday so it's gonna be a few days in my life I hope that's okay because that's what you guys gonna get <laughs> uh, but we're gonna hop into today's sponsor thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video y'all know how I feel about Ana Luisa. I have so much of their jewelry pieces. They are amazing quality. They are also a sustainable company. So if you buy from them, you're obviously supporting a good cause. All of their jewelry is made out of recycled metals and it's also woman owned so i definitely love that all of the pieces on their website are amazing quality and they range from i believe it's 49 dollars and up it's a little bit pricey but you are getting good quality y'all see i wear my jewelry all the time i never take it off and they last really long they really hold up so let me just hop into the pieces that i got oh if you guys are interested i do have a coupon code for 10 percent off of your order Use the code SHANICE10 and you will get that discount. So the pieces that I got, I'm actually wearing them all. I've been wearing them probably for the past maybe week and a half now and I never took them off yet. So the first thing I'm wearing is this beautiful necklace right here. So I really wanted a necklace that had a pendant because I've been wearing the frick out of that Chanel pendant. So I wanted a new necklace, new chain. This is called the Zoe necklace and it has a nice pendant on it with a rose on it. So that really just spoke to me and I love it. It's really pretty, very dainty, but then it has a nice little mm, 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 mm. <laughs> And then the next piece I got was this bracelet. I love how dainty it is and I just want really want to expand my bracelet collection. Um, it looks like it has some flowers on it like the details are flowers which is really pretty it kind of reminds me of a certain designer um, bracelet that's really popular right now so I really love this and the details on this are just so nice it has this little detail right here that says the Ana Luisa logo it's the small touches for me um, that make it look very expensive and did I say what this is called this is called the Rowena bracelet the last piece of jewelry that I got were these earrings right here these are called the Felicia pleated hoops and I own a few pair of earrings from Ana Luisa but these are kind of textured so if my hair is pulled back and like it's just my face showing the earrings would like pop really nicely but still be very minimal at the same time. And they're also nice and like chunky. They're like chunky, small hoops. So love that. So I'm really happy with all of the pieces that I got and all the jewelry you get will come in little pouches so you can use it for travel and all of that good stuff. So again, if you guys are interested in, you know, trying out any of the jewelry pieces from Ana Luisa, all the links will be down below and you guys can use my coupon code SHANICE10. Anyways, y'all, the cleaners came today, so my house is nice and clean, smelling good. I should actually light some candles. Um, sorry, I was listening to uh, True Crime ASMR. That's my guilty pleasure. <sighs> yeah, that's what I like to listen to at night. That's how I fall asleep. It's real crazy. Like, I love true crime, so I always watch Oxygen. I watch Snapped. I watch, like, all of the different... Um, like docu-series that they kind of have on certain people and then the guilty pleasure is the whispered version so i get so happy when my girls be posting i'm also subscribed on patreon <laughs> like i pay five dollars a month to get extra videos extra true crime videos is crazy i know i have a problem i really do but <laughs> anyways i it is time for me to buy my ticket to seychelles I waited way too long to book the ticket, so it's a little bit more expensive, but for the most part, 
the company I'm going with is paying for it, but it was my fault that I waited too late because it probably would have been paid for if I bought it um, earlier. But anyways, I was waiting on my girls to buy their tickets, tell me what they're doing, and they finally bought it yesterday. <sighs> I needed to know when they were gonna like come and when they were, mainly when they were gonna leave so I know when I should book my ticket to leave. Like if they wanted to stay a few days extra, then I would stay because you know, I haven't seen them in so long. So that's what I'm about to do. You guys always ask me about, I apologize, my memory card ran out of space. So you guys always ask me how I buy my tickets. I usually, um, will accumulate enough points where I could buy it through my bank or my credit card or I will just literally go on Skyscanner, I will go on Flight Hub. Mainly Flight Hub is where I buy a lot of my tickets to be honest. Um or I will go on Google Flights. That's where I buy my tickets. But I think this time I'm going to see I think I'm going to go straight through Emirates emirates.com i was literally deciding or debating on if i wanted to do uh first class or business class because i'm gonna be traveling by myself so i want to be comfortable and all of that but uh, it's, it's a lot of money like i'll be able to have a bed i'll get really good food um access to the lounges and whatnot but i don't think i'm gonna do it not this time because I did pay for a few of my girls to go on this trip, so I spent enough money. So my ass is gonna be in the economy. At least you get free alcohol the entire flight there and back on um, international flights like that. So I'm gonna get lit. Okay guys, so I am on Flight Hub now, and as you can see, this right here, this price is outrageous. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna buy that. I don't even think that is first class or business class. Like what the heck? Anyways, let's keep scrolling. I don't want to take Russian air. Don't mind Qatar. I heard Qatar is very good. And then Emirates. I think I'm going to go with Emirates just because it's a long flight. Emirates is a very comfortable, comfortable aircraft. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Qatar is as well, I believe. But this has shorter layover going there. Um... And I've been on Emirates before, so I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to go on their actual website to see what the rate is um, and then figure it out. But I could be saving a lot of money if I took Russian Air, but there's a 13-hour connection coming back in Moscow, which is actually kind of cool, but nah. So these would be my flights if I was to do this business class or, yeah, if I was to do business class going there in economy on the way back. Guys, I cannot figure out what I want to do. So it is $1,500 to do economy both ways there. And then it is $2,300 to do business class going there and economy on the way back. But I just really want to do business class. I just want to experience the life sitting in business class on a 15 hour um, ride to Dubai. And then I have another four hours to go to Seychelles. Both business class a long ass time. But then it's like, would I rather do business class going back? Because I'm going to be tired and I'm going to really want to sleep. I don't know. But business class going back is way too expensive. Like, I'm not doing that. I got to be like a multi-millionaire to do that. Anyways, I'm going to get me some food. I'm going to think on it. I'm going to get me a snack from downstairs. And hopefully by the time I come back, my friends will answer me and tell me what the hell I should do. So I am back. I went to one of my favorite places to get sandwiches, Paris Spaghetti. They have some really good sandwiches in there and one that I'm particularly um, addicted to. <laughs> Let's just say that. So this is the honey chipotle chicken sandwich. Let me show you guys. Even Stormy loves it. Look at her. Look at her. Up in my grill. 
So this is what the sandwich looks like. They toast it. It has spinach, roasted red pepper. I believe there's cheese in here as well with the honey chipotle chicken. And it's so good. Have a bite, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Now I'm gonna have a bite. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Watch yourself. This is so good. Have y'all ever seen that post on Instagram where it says, oh, you get something to eat and you turn on your show only to eat your food in two minutes? Well, I didn't even put on a show yet and <laughs> this is all I have. Okay guys, so after, you know, eating and talking to a few of my colleagues, i.e. Munchie, <laughs> She said, hell nah. <laughs> she said no. Because I'm essentially saving $1,400. She said, save the first class or you know business class when you and Brian go on your honeymoon or something. Which is true. So I'll save it for hopefully next year. All right, guys, so I booked my flight a month away until I leave for Seychelles. Let go. So is it just me or does anybody else take screenshots of their flights or when they book something or if they order something online, even though it says it's going to be my email, <coughs> taking that screenshot. <laughs> so I ended up changing the airlines. I'm actually doing Qatar instead of Emirates. I had never tried Qatar and everybody was saying that it's actually better in terms of customer service compared to um, Emirates as well as Dubai Airport is like crazy compared to Doha. So this time I'm gonna try Qatar. Hopefully I like it. But anyways, I got a few packages that I wanna show you guys. A lot of packages. <laughs> oh and if y'all are wondering where my sweater is from sorry i'm not wearing a bra right now um my sweater is from zara i love it i love the color it's nice and oversized but it has a nice split and it's very thick so it's great for la weather i feel like especially right now you can wear this outside with a pair of shorts and you'll be good so from sephora y'all so i got the I think I showed you guys this in a previous vlog. I got the Jazz Club by Replica. And what had happened was it stopped spraying correctly. It just started like spitting out. And I was not having them. Like I'm not going to spend this much money on a fragrance. And it's not even spraying right. So I went to Sephora and then they just gave me a new one. They had to order it online though. What do I got in here? Amazon packages just be rolling. Okay, so I got this Mrs. Stewart's Liquid Bluing Concentrate. Whiten white clothes safely. So I heard Jackie Ina talk about this in one of her Instagram videos. And uh, I don't really want to use bleach on my stuff because that kind of turns it yellow. So she says this works very, very good. So I'm going to try this liquid bluing agent. On like my sheets and just like on my white clothes and stuff and see how this works and then I got some dog toys for Stormy which I'm gonna give to her on her birthday her birthday's on Friday I'm so excited I have to go get her like a little treat like a cake or like a cupcake and uh, I don't know like maybe a hat or something so I tried getting her the rubber toys, but she is like frightened of them. She does not like them. Yeah, so I ended up getting her the soft little squishy toys that make sounds. Look at her. Look at her face. Look at her face. She's like. So she's going to love this. I'm going to give it to her on her birthday though. Not today. She got to wait. She got to wait. ColourPop always comes with some real cute packaging. What is this? Eye primer. I don't want eyeshadow. And then it came with this big, beautiful palette. Wow. These are the colors. Very nice and bright if you like that. Definitely going to be putting this into like a giveaway. 
Okay, so this package, I think I already know what it is. I got a new laptop. Anyways, y'all, my new MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, which I'm super excited and happy for. My other laptop was giving me so many problems. I just don't even use it anymore because it's so slow. I try to update it and then that just messed everything up because it was such an old computer. I think I had it since 2016, so it, it didn't want that update at all. And yeah, so I ended up getting a new one because sometimes I don't like sitting at that computer desk and doing work. I want to be on the couch, I want to be in the bed, and I want to be able to edit. And then also when I travel, I need a laptop that works. So need a new one. This is a 13 inch Pro. So oh, this is my laptop. It is beautiful. So beautiful. And this is the Space Gray 13 inch and I got the highest of the highest upgrades. I guess that's what you would call it. So I got 512 gigabytes, 2 terabytes, and I don't know if there's any other upgrades. I got that too. I'm gonna set this up. I am about to take a bath. I really feel like taking one. Today and just relaxing. Okay guys, so I made the mac and cheese bites. I'm excited to eat it. I put some marinara on the side so I can dip the macaroni bites in there. And I warmed it up in the oven, of course. So I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And we finna eat. Y'all forgive me for this lighting, but I'm gonna try the mac and cheese bites now. It's kind of hot, so. Okay. They are good, but I definitely mess it up by leaving it soaked in the marinara sauce, so I lost the crunch on it on this side. But dang, why did I do that? Okay, so now I know I gotta just dip it inside. I can't. You know, kind of let it soak like the cheese bites at, um, what is it called? Cheesecake Factory. But they're good. I sprinkled a little bit of salt on them. Not bad. Whew. They're very hot. I swear I get home and I only have like 45 minutes and then we in bed. And then I wake up and I leave. Hey y'all, what's up? It is the next day. Do not... <coughs> 
it is the next day and today i don't really have anything planned sorry i'm just, i don't really have anything planned um i just i want to get a lot of the stuff i have to do for seychelles out of the way i want to order like all of my outfits um, we have certain theme days where we have to wear like certain outfits so I want to like search up some cool black owned companies where I can get these outfits from I already have a few in mind I want to get something from Be Fine um, Ofer and uh, where else I can't remember there was a few that I have I have it listed on here I have a bunch of things that I need I want to get a drone there's a bunch of things that I need to order I'm probably going to be spending <laughs> I'm probably gonna spend like freaking 3k just to go on this trip um, maybe even more to get everything that I want to get so that's all I'm gonna be doing on my computer today and then I have a few things that I want to show you guys later but I ain't doing much I don't even think I must step outside unless me and Brian go on a date today because today is date night Thursdays but I don't even know if we're gonna do that I kind of want to go eat but then I kind of want to make that orange chicken so I might just make the orange chicken to be honest um so yeah i'm using my new laptop i'm very excited now i can sit on my couch and do the shit i need to do so i really want to show you guys the stuff i want to order but i think i'm gonna do a haul a woman owned and black owned haul something like that you guys will see on my channel but anyways i'm just gonna be sitting here watching some true crime and making some orders Today's gonna be real chill, very relaxing, just doing small work and then edit. I have to edit this vlog. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh? Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is. You. Cause they be fine like wine, now her spirits all in my mind Couldn't have shown a better, better time They say you see, can you shall find Good morning everybody! It is like 10 a.m. today and it is October It is October... 8th 8th? Are you sure? Isn't it? Wait... 8th! It's October 8th and it's Stormy's birthday! Oh wow! Yeah, wow! <laughs> It's, it's our Stormy's birthday. Yes. Look at the dog. Stormy, happy birthday, mommy. Let the niggas know we over here, Stormy. Stormy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby. So we are on our way to Petco. We're going to see if we can find like a little, you know, birthday gift for her. Maybe like a snack, cupcake. I don't know. We want to make her have a nice yeah, first birthday. Loves. Yes. I don't know if they have chicken flavor, ice cream, chicken flavor. Um, As a mother, you think that's her favorite food? Yes, yeah. she's just like her daddy. She <laughs> loves chicken. Anything chicken, she'll eat it up. If it's lamb, she ain't really messing with no, it. No, she don't like lamb. She like chicken. It's so cute. It's so cute. I wonder if we should give her a birthday bath. So yes. She's all, so she's all fluffy. We gotta give her a birthday bath. I bought her some toys off of Amazon. I'm gonna give her those today. She can have like a few, no, her treat is gonna be whatever we get from Petco. 
What about eggs for breakfast? Eggs for breakfast. She loves eggs, so I'm gonna make her a little eggs for breakfast when I get back. So we're excited. We're just walking downtown. Brian has a late start, so gang gang. I like living in downtown LA. Cause you can walk. Yeah, cause you can walk. You close to stuff. This might change my perspective if we ever move to a different city. Oh I yeah. Might want to stay downtown. Yeah. Or in the mix. Yeah, wherever is. there's stuff around. I don't think I can do like suburb, suburb, suburb. Mm. You're gonna feel. You're gonna feel like. Oh, yeah, nothing. I know. I know. This so makes I, you have the urge to go out. It definitely does. All right, y'all. We made it to Petco. All right, guys. So we usually get our food from Ollie, or we found this place here in um, in LA downtown called Just Food for Dogs. So we've been getting her this. She loves chicken, like I said, so she's been loving the chicken and white rice recipe. And then I think we gave her this one time, this turkey and whole wheat macaroni. So I'm going to get her this today. Hopefully she likes it. So we're just going to get her a small one. They only have a small selection of birthday stuff in this store. Oh no, <laughs> it's too big. But it's so cute. That's cute. Would you like that, Stormy? Yes. A donut. So cool, Stormy. Is it the same donut? It look like it. What do you like better, Stormy? And we got these right here. We got some oven baked churl style treats. Hopefully she likes these. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Look at her lips. Sit, lay down, speak, 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 speak clearly, speak, 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 speak. speak. Good job. Yeah. You look good. You look good. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna let you back for it again. Sit. Sit. Lay down. Speak. Speak. Speak loud. Speak. 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 Good job. Should I get out of my face? That's it? You're over it? Okay, guys. So it is lunchtime, and I ordered some Uber Eats from this place called Ozzy or Uzi's Kitchen. It's a Jamaican restaurant here in downtown LA. I literally just Googled it and it popped up and the food looked really good. So I was debating between getting jerk chicken or fish. I really wanted red snapper, but I also wanted um, freaking jerk chicken. But I'm like, let me get the snapper because I, you know, it's a rare occasion when I have this. I got the Escovidge fish um, steamed snapper. Ooh, it smells so good. And then I also got it with a few sides. I got white rice because I do not like rice and peas. Don't judge me. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, so I got some vegetables, some plantain, and white rice. And then I ordered their Rasta macaroni and cheese. I had no idea what this was, but hopefully it's good. This is what it looks like. And then, of course, I had to get me a pineapple soft drink. I love this. I love the cola one, too, but I think I like pineapple better. And then I got some festival on the side. So I have festival to eat, too. I'm so excited. This is like Sunday dinner right now, but on a Friday.